pose over here with the children. What do you want? I want you to buy the wagon wheel. Strike your own childlike pose. I don't, I'm not that young of a child. Pretend. I guess I'll say. us show up late Sunday afternoon and expect anything to be open everything is closed yeah it's closed or it's closing down but it was kind of like a sneak peek for us yes so tomorrow is gonna be awesome we're all over this tomorrow can't wait so see you tomorrow and we're back we're back and it's come to life it has sort of it's still it's still and it's mid-May. So it's a sleepy little town. It, it does feel like a sleepy I'm little I'm sure this town. is a really great place to live. I get frustrated when we go to towns like this. I want to be able to know everything there is to know about it and, and know what the locals know and absorb it, which you really can't do no. <laughs> on our timeline. But let's go check it out. in Charleston we found the most beautiful baskets and I really wanted one but they were $220 so then I didn't really want one after all but in Santa Fe they have them for $14.99 Santa Fe is speaking my language the idea to send postcards as we travel to some special friends and family back home which is kind of an old school practice I guess but it's funny because I'm feeling a lot of pressure as I fill up the address like what if I mess up I can't hit delete I can't backspace so I'm trying to concentrate really we hard. couldn't remember which side of the postcard the address <laughs> goes on it's been a bit of a struggle. It's a lost art. We're trying to bring it back. So, friends and family, I hope you enjoy the postcards. We're told that if we're in Santa Fe to check out the Georgia O'Keeffe Museum, so here we are. We're gonna see what this is all about. And can I say, the people in Santa Fe are absolutely amazing. They're so friendly. Um, love, love this town. We just had some really yummy. Yes, very yeah. good. Um, Southwestern Mexican food. It was tasty. But we had the most disturbing experience in a restroom ever. I told you not to go in there. I went in there first and I said, don't go. And mom went anyway. Floor to ceiling. Mirrors. 360 degrees. Mirrored restroom. I, I don't enjoy seeing myself that much. <laughs> it's a bit much of us to see, I agree. Went through the Loretto Chapel uh, with the miraculous stairs. Miraculous stairs, yes. And it was funny because we were having a conversation at lunch, and Amy, quite uh, boastfully, <laughs> made the um, statement, 
Um, yeah, I already know how that uh, works. So, um, <laughs> miracles, that is. I know how miracles work. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Because I think then she followed it up with, uh, I know architecture. So <laughs> and architecture <clears throat> and, and miracles. And I know everything. So, yeah. I'm still traumatized so, from the bathroom experience. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> so that was beautiful. It's beautiful. It's one of those really. Um, richly ornate cathedrals it's small inside it's very charming and though it's no longer serving as an active chapel people do still rent it out and they have weddings there so it's it's very modest admission price yeah to support dollars, the right. sisters retirement fund yes and and make a little donation while you're there we yeah do. So, so it's worth seeing absolutely I like that Hopefully we're going to take in sunset. <laughs> With that cloud cooperating. There's a lot of clouds, so they say it's magnificent here to see sunset, so I hope we get it in. Santa Fe. Santa Fe is so friendly and so charming and it's just jam-packed full of history i feel like we had a semester in american history while we were here it dates back to 500 a.d yeah who knew <laughs> probably people from santa fe <laughs> probably uh but yeah two days not enough for santa fe it's I, I not and if you're a shopper oh could santa fe could be dangerous <laughs> you could leave your broke without even trying thankfully we're not shoppers I did buy some extremely overpriced chocolate because Avery is the easiest person in the world to be around. She's just easy going, delightful child. But if she starts to go sideways on you for any reason, Avery's too tired. What do you do? You give her chocolate. You give her chocolate. Avery's getting impatient. You, you give, give her, her chocolate. chocolate. So we did pay way too much for some chocolate today. If we ever custom build a home, we're coming here for our doors, furniture, windows, but we also learned in Santa Fe, do not take Jim in an antique furniture store. Yeah, it's like a gym in an antique furniture <laughs> it's store. very much like a bull in a china shop. I found myself looking around for one of those signs that says, if you break it, you buy it. Thankfully, I didn't find one. No, but we, yes, we got out of there quite, quite. <laughs> Good job, Jim. Yes, quickly. Great escape plan. So if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe because we are stopping in all these tremendous cities to the way to our actual destinations. First one coming up. Grand Canyon. Yes. So several hikes planned from here on out and some of our country's most beautiful land. And we cannot wait to take you along. See you next time. <laughs> You're so chivalrous with your arm out like that. <laughs> Gaston. Avery, how does it look? <laughs> <laughs> you look awesome. Because you're like, because you're sideways, like. What? How's this? How's Avery. that safe? That's better. Is it recording? Yeah, it's okay, recording. Okay, good. Okay, good. <laughs>